Well, I really like the concept of air mouse remotes used in smart TVs. Like, it just makes interacting with the TV a lot easier. And being a techie, I was curious to know how this magical technology actually works. And when I researched about it, I found that this is a very simple device. Well, let me explain. So, an air mouse is basically the combination of three things. First is a 6-axis IMU which senses the movement. Second, Bluetooth connectivity to transmit the data wirelessly. And third, we need an HID device which can make our hardware act like a mouse. And with the mixture of these three things, we can easily make our air mouse. So after knowing about how this works, I decided to make my own smallest ever air mouse which will be kind of an upgraded version of a BLE mouse which I made previously just for scrolling the reels on our smartphone. So why not to scroll it via air mouse this time? So let's see how we can make it and how small it can be. So here the major task was I need to find a hardware which contains a 6-axis IMU a Bluetooth connectivity and which can also work as an HID device in as small form factor as possible and luckily I found a single microcontroller board that has all three things and it comes from the smallest microcontroller family. So I'm talking about the Shao NRF Sense board from Seed Studio and we already know how small the Shao boards are. And the great part of using this board is it comes with a built-in battery charging circuit as well so we can make our air mouse powered by battery quite easily. Perfect board. So after finalizing the hardware, it's time to design the smallest PCB for it which contains the controller and a single button. So here we designed the very simple schematic in which we took the Shao NRF board and connected a push button at the digital pin D1 and the push button is here. Later we connected a battery okay, to make it power via battery and also an on off switch to turn it on and off. That is simple schematic and after that we designed the PCB which looks something like this. Okay, This is Shao board, this is a button on off switch and on the back side we have the connector for uh, attaching the battery and here we have written air mouse by techie sms so that's a simple pcb that we have designed and later after designing this pcb we gave its order directly to pcb go go now pcb go go is one of the largest pcb manufacturer in china and luckily i got a chance to visit their factory last year it is really huge and they are processing around 3000 orders per day and ordering pcbs online through pcb go go is really very simple you just need to upload the gerber file of your pcb project select the number of PCBs and color masking and later select the shipping option as per your location. Now here PCB GoGo -Go offers 24 hours PCB manufacturing time without any extra cost if you allow to add the PCB GoGo -Go logo on it which is really convenient for makers like us. And after that your design will be reviewed for any error and later after reviewing you can pay for your order and get it delivered at your doorsteps. Now the PCB comes safely in a vacuum packaging and the PCB quality feels really premium. Now currently they are having an amazing offer where you can get $25 worth PCB at just a dollar for all the new users and also they are providing free shipping in North America and Europe. So just click the link mentioned in the description and get your PCBs from PCB Go Go. So after getting the PCB, we started with assembling the surface mount components on it and after baking the PCB, we started soldering the through hole components on it and after soldering all the part, here is the final hardware of our air mouse. Really small and very compact. So that's the complete hardware and now let's start with the coding part. Okay, so here is the complete code for our air mouse project but before moving on to the code explanation, you first need to install the support for Shao NRF Sense board. For that you can go to the wiki page of uh, Shao NRF Sense and here you can just copy this URL. Later you can go to Arduino then into files and preferences. Here you need to click on this icon and just paste that particular line here. In my case I already pasted it. After pasting it, you need to go to Boards, uh, Boards Manager and here just search for Seed NRF and here you will find the option uh, Seed NRF Boards by Seed Studio, just install it. In my case, I installed the version 1.1.10, perfect. After that, you need to install one library which is this, which is responsible for IMU. So I'll go to Library Manager and paste the name of the IC. Let me install the library from Seed Studio, which is this. In my case, I installed the version 2.0.4. You need to install these uh, two things, the boards package uh, and the library. Then you're good to go to uh, upload this code into your NRF Sense board. But before that, let's understand what this code uh, is doing uh, in the backend. 
So first of all, we have created the instance for IMU, which is at the address 0 cross 6A. After that uh, basic pin declaration and later in the setup part, we are doing all the basic initializations. And after that, we are turning on the Bluetooth and the Bluetooth name will be uh, mentioned as a Shao Air Mouse. You can change the name. Uh, whatever you want you can add this name here that will be displayed onto the smartphone and the laptop after that let's just move on to the main loop part and uh, try to understand how this is working so first of all as soon as the bluetooth is connected like any client is connected with our air mouse it will just blink the red led once which will signify that uh, it is successfully connected with the device after that we are reading the gyroscope values now here let me tell you one thing initially when i was explaining how an air mouse work i mentioned that it it, it needs an six axis imu well i say the six axis IMU, imu because it's a very common term that we use uh, every time when we are, whenever we want any kind of movement detection in our project but rather than using all the six axes this particular project just uses the two axis of a gyroscope sensor there's no need of accelerometer here and even in the gyroscope we are just using the two axis the z axis and the y axis okay so that's one thing which i need to clarify it doesn't require all the six axis so we are reading the gyroscope values after that uh, what we are doing is we are setting the speed of the cursor so by dividing the value of the gyroscope with uh, phi or any integer value will uh, signify the speed of the cursor movement lower the value higher the speed okay so if you set 2 it the cursor will move at a very fast speed and if i set to 10 or 12 it will move at comparatively lower speed here i have put 5 uh, to get the medium speed okay you can change it and play with it after that we are uh, filtering the micro movement so what happened is even if if her hand is stable there is some kind of micro movements happening in her hand that is also recognized by the built-in gyroscope sensor and which can reflect onto the mouse cursor as well which is kind of a false value we do not want to move it this uh, it's just the uh, you know small micro movement so we need to filter that out so if the value or the change in the value is uh, less than 0.5 we're ignoring that if the change is more than 0.5 then only we are considering it and later we are sending that data directly to the client side using this function called as blehid.mouseMove, okay? And we are signifying the X and Y coordinates. So that's how we are reading the data, filtering it out, setting the speed, and later sending it to the BLE, uh, what you can say, the client side. Later, we also have a push button on board, which will be working as the left click because majority of the tasks can be done with the left click button of a mouse. So hence, we use just one single button, okay? So we can click and drag anything. We can click to select the menu, anything we can do with that single button so that's the complete code about air mouse and now i'll select the right board and com board is already selected let's try to hit the upload button and let's see if it works or not okay so the program is successfully uploaded and now what i'll do is i'll go inside the bluetooth setting of my laptop the same laptop from which i done the coding click on show bluetooth devices now here inside this i'll click on add device and let's try to search for bluetooth based devices and okay here as you can see Shao air mouse appears so i'll click here to connect and okay as you can see now i am able to control this laptop or the cursor of the laptop with the help of my Shao nrf sense board and let's try to click and close it as well It's kind of difficult at the very beginning but yeah it's working let's just minimize this okay let's try to do with this particular thing okay so yeah as you can see uh, right now able to move the cursor uh, do the left click action everything and uh, let's try to drag something click and drag okay everything is working pretty smooth like i can use the mouse in the air but right now it's kind of difficult to hold it let's just try to disconnect the cable and uh, run it on battery okay so as you can see right now it is uh, running on a battery standalone and it's working uh, quite smooth as well but it's kind of difficult to hold it uh, without any kind of casing so let's try to design a 3d printed case for it so that it is uh, more comfortable in our hand let's try to do that so design a simple case for this project and let it got it 3d printed in black color once received we started assembling it and now our air mouse is ready to be used with multiple devices so you can use air mouse with any windows or mac os computer and laptop to do web scrolling or you can even use it for showing your presentations 
letter, you can use it on your smartphone for smoothly scrolling the reels without even touching your phone. And it works for both iPhone and Android. Not only that, it also works with your smart TV. Just connect it via Bluetooth and you are good to go to use it. Isn't this a truly universal air mouse? Well, do hit the like button if you really like the project. Well, I particularly find this project pretty interesting. And to watch more such interesting project based tutorials in future, well, you just need to subscribe our channel and I'll make sure I'll post this kind of videos regularly on our channel. And yeah, that being said, I'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS.